Hi everybody. Uh, so I thought I'd try something different here. I'm going to uh, post an issue, an ethics issue, that I encountered uh, at work, and I thought this would be another way to um, sort of uh, bridge that gap that we have with distance learning where we don't get to see uh, what each other looks like or what we sound like or anything, and maybe bring some of the um, real physical experience into this distance learning thing. So uh, my point is that I was um, trying to help a student and uh, in my role as instructional technology manager, uh, people call me and they need help. And this was a situation where a student needed to know where they had to go in order to get to their class, where the physical location was for their class. Uh, because for some reason, one reason or another, that information wasn't available in my info like it is for everybody else. And so um, I said, I, I don't know what that information is, uh, but you should probably call the registrar. And the student said, I called the registrar and they told me they can't give me that information. And um, so I was surprised by this. I said, they, they have that information. Why couldn't they give it to you? And uh, they said, the student said, I'm not sure, but they sent me to you. I said, OK, let me find out what I can. So I went over to the registrar's office to find out that they can't give out that information over the phone, which is legitimate, uh, because it's sensitive information. If, if there was somebody who was stalking the student, for example, and um, they wanted to find out where the student was going to be at a particular time, they could call the registrar, and if the registrar gave out that information over the phone, might be able to, um, to go and attack this person, for example. Uh, so. The issue is one of security, and but at the same time, the student was just about in tears because her class with him was the next day, and she had to uh, she had to be there at 8 a.m. She was not going to be able to get to the registrar's office to prove who she was. She couldn't use the tools that we put in place, like my info, in order to get the information about her classes because that information wasn't available. And um, she was really just in a bad place, and I wanted to help her. Uh, but the registrar's issue was that they don't give out that information over the phone as a policy. The thing is that I knew that the student was who she said she was. And if I could get a hold of the information, I would tell the student where her class was. And that's, in fact, what I did. I, I went and pursued the dean and found out where that class was and when it was going to start and blah, blah, blah. And um, there were several ways in which I was able to prove that the student was who she said she was. First of all, it was her home number, so I was able to call her home. She was able to give me other information, such as her uh, passwords, her Bronc ID, her, her uh, Social Security number, etc. And so she was able to definitively prove for me that she was who she, who she said she was. So I felt pretty comfortable giving that, that information, but the registrar still didn't, and I think that I probably overstepped a bound by giving out that information. But at the same time, I feel like I helped this student. So I'm essentially bringing this up as an issue for us to discuss because I wanted to um, find out how people, how other people might have handled it, ethically speaking. In other words, is it a cl clear-cut, black-and-white case where that information can't be given out, or is it a situation where, um, you know, uh, the, the student needed help, I was able to prove who it was, and so we had to make an exception. Um, I'm just interested in what you think, and I thought this would be a cool way to uh, try and provide some back and forth about uh, who we are, physically speaking, you know, so that we're not just blocks of text speaking to each other. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you later.